or welcome back so in today's video i am going to show you a event management system which is created by using the google sheet as a database google web app script and the google drive okay so what exactly this event management system will do so first of all you can see right now i am logging as a admin because it have the two user roles the admin and the user as you can see in the users we have the two role admin and the user so you can see this is a dashboard we can see uh, the analytics and everything in the dashboard section so the main thing is about the events so here you can see the event section we have the add event option as well let's take example i am going to add a event uh, for example in my university in my school in my academy in my marriage hall and somewhere else where is your event organized you just give him the name project name or event name for example mri meeting for example our youtube uh, persons meetings holding okay mri meet okay that's fine what is the date of that particular event and time we can just select it here and then submit it by coordinator name for example i am just giving here my name okay that's fine description of the event uh, so here we can easily enter uh, meet with subscribers okay meet with subscribers that fine also now event photos we want to upload the event photos we just simply click on this select photos remember you can uh, select multiple photos at a time multiple multiple files at a time okay you can also directly paste the file url also has here so i just select it here and uh, select these particular four images that's enough for for your demo and click on this open so when i click on this open as of now you can able to see uh, these are the four photos okay these are the four images so what i need to do i don't need to click here say first of all i need to click upload all files so i will click on this upload all files the file is uploading to the google drive if you, your google drive does not have the assets name folder it will automatically create that folder and then create a particular event separately folder and you can see here's all the four images will comes automatically okay so these will be uploading right now so we can see here's the only two and four now all the images come now you can see the four images uploaded and in this particular folders saved now that particular folder url automatically comes here and now we can do click on this save so when i click on this save you can see document added out successfully and when i want to see the document or folder i just simply click on this view i can easily remember you can make this folder share as a public as well okay so anyone with the link so that particular result and the second thing is that you can share this assets name folder with your subscribers like you can add the emails of these particular users so these particular users can only access data that's fine now one thing one more thing sir if someone edit the data how i can check out them the person is editing the data so i just go to the logs and here you can see here the log id and this is the log id and this is the document id and this is the action is created right now and here's all the actions for the created the data updated the data and deleted the data everything will be shown here and in the users section you can create the users what does the users can do user can only able to see events add events and edit or delete their own events not the other person's event i will also explain you by logging as a user so in the my account section this section is same in both the admin and the user this is your user id and that's all here's you can easily change out your password let's take example i wanna make this password to this okay i just uh, paste it here the old password and then paste it here the new password and again the new password and click on this update password so when i click on this update password as of now you can able to see here my password is being updated successfully now that's fine you understand completely how the admin dashboard will work okay now i am just log out from my data and log in as a user so i am just logging as a user so you can see i am logging 
and as a user you can see i can only have access the events and my account in the my account the same procedure as the admin we can change the passwords just and in the event section we can add the event update the event and delete the event which is added by ourselves which is added by this particular user let's take example this is a document and uh, this is a user user have the user id too okay that's fine you understand this concept okay i yeah, i know you understand now you can see this is 2222 two, two, two. means this is the user id to data okay so if i make it this so now these six data will belongs to that particular user no sir you are lying uh, let me show you the example i just go to here and click on this event because i want to reload this okay so you can see these six data will related to this particular user and if that particular user also want to add their own event they can easily add them and they can easily update or delete data you can see this is a confirmed deletion of project so this section can't be undone okay so i want to delete this so after i deleted you can see the document deleted successfully sir one thing you are forgetting i we don't know the edit is working or not please show us the edit is working or not okay bro i will show you the edit let's take example this is a project aid and i will make it project 899 and also make it project 899 and also make it project 899 and also update the date here okay that's fine sir now we can understand we can trust you if it's update it successfully okay i just click on this save and now you can able to see here the edit event will be uploaded successfully so you can see uh, the data is loaded Lo yes uh, it's updated and also it's updated yes the date is also updated and this is also so now we are fully trusted that the edit delete and add event working successfully and the you admin and user also working successfully so now we can test out this file the file link is available in the description yes you the file link is available in the description you can just go and download it and use it in your project and use it for your learning so i will be very helpful to share this code with you this is absolutely free available in the description so you can go and check it out and please don't forget to write a comment for me and like the video and subscribe our channel because if you subscribe our channel and view and watch the video completely definitely i will be more help i will be do more help to you i will be sharing more free resources to you for your learning so we thank you very much take care